Welcome to the official YouTube channel of Fourternia.com. I'm your host, AJ, and today I'm doing an unboxing and mini review of the Masterverse Rulers of the Sun Pig Head action figure. Now, Pig Head is a villain. He's a villain of the Rulers of the Sun universe. He's a villain to Sun Man. And that's why I have Sun Man to his left, and I have He-Man to his right, because the Rulers of the Sun Universe recently joined the Motu Universe. So before we take a look at the figure, let's first look at that packaging. Now once again, on the packaging here, on the spine and on its back, we have fantastic artwork that we're accustomed to with Masterverse figures. Wish I knew who the artist was so I could give the artist credit. Unfortunately, they don't list it on the packaging anywhere. I still don't know why. But it's fantastic work. Now, let's talk about its bio. The interesting thing about Pighead that I've always been fascinated with is Pighead didn't normally look this way. He was some sort of like evil tyrant, evil rich tyrant that would enslave people and treat people horribly. So apparently in the lore, part of the punishment was not just banishment, but the rulers of the sun transformed his face to look like this pig head character and then banished him away. And then surprise, surprise, which is no surprise, pig head has vowed his revenge. Now, let's just imagine He-Man is the reason why, if you love the Keldor lore, is the reason why uh, Keldor looks like a skeleton face, right? You'd be able to understand why Skeletor would want to do twice the amount of harm to He-Man than he had before. So I've always had difficulty wrapping my head around why the heroes transform this person's face into a grotesque face as punishment. It always seemed kind of counterproductive and he's going to become that much more evil and vow that much more a deeper revenge. But I don't know. That's just me. So let's read this bio. Pighead, wicked enemy of Sun Man. The rulers of the sun punish Prince Igor of House Shadus for his cruelty banished him to the shadows, and transformed him into pig head. Half man, half pig. Now he has one goal. Steal the energy from the first sun so that he might harness its power and rule the galaxy. And only one man stands in his way. Sun man. All right, so let's get pig head out of the packaging and take a look. So here he is, the Masterverse, Rulers of the Sun, Pighead. And the first thing that is striking about this figure is just its paint apps. And I know this goes back to the vintage figure. I think the colors are a little different, but I just love these striking colors. His skin color is almost like neon, and then you have the blues and the pinks. It almost reminds me of, I know it's going to date me, um, of Miami Vice. When I was a kid, I was able to watch that with my dad. And it's just very much like, you know, 80s colors here. And I'm just loving it. So let's take a closer look at Pighead's face sculpt. Here's Pighead's face. And I, I just love how his tusks, you know, he has one going one direction and two going the opposite direction. You know, he kind of reminds me of a Gamorrean guard from Return of the Jedi. Um, I'm not sure if, I think Pighead's debut was 1985. Does the Gamorrean guard predate this? Was Return of the Jedi 1983? I'm going to have to check my dates on that, but uh, that's what this figure reminds me of. But I dig it. I love that little snout and the eyes, and it has pretty much a nice sculpt to it, and paint apps, and I don't know. I really like his face. So here's Pig Head, 360 degrees, and I'm really digging his figure. I like his loincloth. I think that's called leather padded armor, and he has an interesting black belt. I like the fur on the boots and the spikes, and you know, I had a little bit of a difficulty with the shoulder armor, I really had to force them high up on the biceps because they kept sliding down. But once I got it high enough, they are now staying on his shoulders, which makes me pretty pleased. And uh, overall, I'm really digging this. 
Now, I would be baking everyone's hearts. Yeah, I know that's a bad joke. If I didn't go through Pighead's accessories, starting with his blue mace, Morning Star, his blue gummy worm. I used to love gummy worms as a kid. Now, this seems to be a blue serpent or eel or snake. Then we have Pighead's shield. And also we have an additional set of hands. So let's take a closer look at all of these. So here is the evil pig head holding his mace. And the mace has a soft plastic chain. So it has some flexibility here. And it's also translucent, but not only just translucent, it looks like it sparkles inside. Um, it looks like almost it has pieces of glitter inside the translucent plastic. So if you catch the light in certain ways, it actually sparkles, which is pretty wild. And here is Pighead donning his shield. And his shield has some pretty cool design etchings into it. Also has some battle marks, you know, maybe from a battle axe slamming against it. And it stays in his hand pretty well. He has a shield holding hand and the second strap holds on pretty well to the spikes on his gauntlets. And he looks rather cool. And when he faces off against his enemies, you know, Sun Man has a shield. And He-Man has a shield. And Pighead has one too. So now let's talk about Pighead's gummy worm. And it's not a gummy worm. It looks like it's a serpent. Almost like a sea serpent. And it's made of that same translucent blue that the Morningstar Mace had. It also has the same glittering sparkles inside. And it also has, it looks like, sharp teeth. So it could strike its enemies. And I assume it's Pig Head's pet. And you could wrap it around his waist. There you go. And enemies beware. Now, I'm not going to go over every point of articulation for Pighead, but he has everything you come to expect from a great articulated Masterverse figure. So overall, I really like this Pighead Masterverse Rulers of the Sun figure. You know, it's, it's crazy. If you put this down on paper, I would say all these combinations between the the neon, like, green skin to the pink shield and horns and gauntlets to the blue to the translucent blue with the glittering sparkles inside the morning star and the serpent. It shouldn't work, right? All of these combinations seems like on paper would be a recipe for disaster. But for some reason, somehow, I really dig this combination on this figure and I'm glad I have them in my collection. It shouldn't work, but it does. So that's it. I want to thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.